been a while. What's <laughs> up, howdy, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Rumble. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it very entertainingly, so, so you want to subscribe, and you will subscribe. Thank you very much. Apologies for no videos for the past week or two weeks. Everything got worse. Oh, this is so awkward. Why am I so awkward today? <laughs> I know applications are going on right now. I think I'm pretty sure and I know some people don't know what to do or aren't sure of taking what they want to take and I know fine arts is one of those ones which are always very questionable and the ones you kind of worry about taking. For all of you South Africans or people of the world who are thinking about studying fine arts or know people who are thinking about studying fine arts and they're not so sure if they should choose it or not, this is a video where I'll be discussing some of my pros and cons. So just disclaimer this is a hundred percent my opinion it may be very different for you it may be exactly the same for you it may be different to everybody in my class etc etc also my pros could be your cons and your con what before we get on to that make sure you like this video subscribe comment down below turn on my post notifications so you're notified when next i make a video like this I share with all your friends please and thank you Okay, let's get started. So the first pro is that it's a new way of learning. If you weren't really comfortable or you didn't really work well with the traditional way of learning in high school and primary school where you like study and then you write tests where you just like regurgitate information, everything's like a lot of written work and stuff like that, then fine arts may actually be really good for you. We don't do written exams. We do do like essays and stuff, but we don't study information to regurgitate it in like a quiz. Our exams are practicals so it's projects that you do throughout the year. It may be different depending on which institution you go to. There are some written exams for like the other non-fine arts modules, so for example history of arts. But for the fine arts courses there aren't any written tests and that might be good for you. Now you can express yourself in a different way instead of how good you can regurgitate information. So the first con I have to say is the most important con and that is that it puts a strain on your love or passion or whatever it is for art. It's inevitable that you will feel stressed about art and it may not be as enjoyable as it was before because basically what's happening is that you are now making art your education slash future career and now you're being tested on your art instead of like before whereas maybe you may have liked painting as a hobby or really liked digital art as like a passion but now it's something that you'll be graded on and something that you will be doing non-stop. Non-stop means that not all the time you will enjoy it. My literal first video of this was saying that I regretted fine art. There's a lot of stress and now you're gonna sign it with that. So art may no longer be enjoyable for you or may no longer be as enjoyable of a hobby for you after that. It may just be temporary because I also find myself like hating art so much during the semester and then on holiday I'm like free to do whatever I want so then it's not as bad. So if you like think of art as something that's like therapeutic for you or like a safe space for you, you might want to think about that because it may not be as comforting as it was before. It may be even more comforting seeing as you're doing it like 24 seven. So you may find yourself falling in love with art even more. So the second pro is that it's really great for networking. At art school you have like this very dense concentration of artists and people from like around the country. Different artists from different nooks in the industry. Even your lecturers are artists. If you are extroverted, it only works if you're extroverted. If you talk around and make friends you can like get into the industry or at least like find out and befriend people in the industry. You'll find that your lecturers will be friends with artists and then you can speak to them and ask them for contact information. Some of your friends may have had some interesting opportunities that you could ask them about and it's so much easier to connect and network because you are like right smack in the middle of like an artist hub. But that leads on to the second con. To be an artist it's mainly networking that you have to do. This is really the case for a lot of things if not most things but you really need to know someone who knows someone who knows someone who can help you get somewhere to do something to be seen. In all honesty you don't need a degree to be an artist at all. It is helpful. It's very helpful. I mean, if it wasn't helpful, they wouldn't have made it a degree. But there's so many famous, very, very famous artists who never studied fine arts. Don't think that if you're not studying fine arts, you will never be an artist. That's not true. You do learn, you know, it broadens your way of thinking and stuff. But in all honesty, you don't need it to be an artist. 
You get me? The piece of paper is useful for a CV, but it's not the be all and end all. Why is my laptop becoming so loud? Pro number three is that you don't have to study fine arts just to be an artist. It will be taught like that. Your lecturers will be like, you guys are the next generation of artists in South Africa. No one's holding a gun to your head saying, you have to be a visual artist. Because if you are scared of just not making it as an artist, and thinking that it's going to waste. There's so many other things you can do, I think. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell myself. So you can be an art curator or work in a gallery space or whatever. You don't even have to like do strictly art stuff. You can even go into other fields such as like film or videography, fashion design, interior design, because you have like a sort of different background. So you may have a unique approach to those fields. There's people who studied fine arts who went on to do such random other things so if you get into fine arts and you realize i don't want to strictly be a visual artist it's okay the next con in all honesty i think it ruined my ability to study because i think it's been a good two years since i've last studied for something i already mentioned that you don't study exams every time i have to do something that's like literature for like for example for history of art it doesn't work your ability to study will fly out of the window the last pro is that that you have access to a lot more resources you may have access to like a lot of different paint mediums and you'll be ac have access to stuff like cameras and equipment and all of that stuff that you may not have been able to before because like camera equipment and all of that stuff is really really expensive but now you can just like ask your school or they may like lend it out to you guys for you to use and stuff and i think that's really cool now you can do something that you may have not been able to do or really wanted to do but just wasn't financially able to before okay i'm not dumb that's, that's your school fees it's your school fees it's not free student yeah. debt but yeah now you can like find stuff or work with things you've never done before maybe in that you'll be able to find what you truly want to work in or what to do with your art and the last card is that it is extremely disorganized you will not know what's happening or what you need to do how you need to do it when you need to do it by and as someone who like always gets stressed when things aren't really organized or planned out properly um it's not a fun time. Things go over time or under time. Then there's deadlines that you don't know when it's for. You may have a project that you're not really clear on what's happening. I don't know if it's the same for other departments. It is not a cookie cutter aesthetic experience where you're like, oh, coming to art school or today we have a painting class. I mean, it can be like that sometimes. A lot of times you are busy stressing with your friends like, what's going on? <laughs> and I think that got worse. I think it got much worse because of of like online learning so maybe it'll get better as the future happens but um <laughs> those are some of the pros and cons i can think of if you have any more pros and cons maybe you can share it with your friends or down below so that people watching this may also have like a lot more information to get off of because this is just my opinion thank you so much for watching if you like the video like if you like me subscribe comment down below all that fun jazz and yeah until then